Welcome back to part two. And uh, today I want us to show you how we can define the various heights of our building from zero level to first floor, second floor, and all the way to the final floor. So I'll come to model, then come to construction levels here. So if you click on construction level there, you'll be prompted with this dialog box, written construction level. So this one will help you in defining the various heights of your building from zero, zero level. Now, as it is, it is labeled as top of the foundation. It is at zero, zero level. Now, we want to define how deep our foundation will go down. So we'll click insert below, below here. So below here, we'll define how deep this foundation will go down. And I'll prefix that dimension with a negative sign. So, so far, we'll, we'll give it a, a distance or a, or a, a depth of 1.2. So I'll just type 1.2 right there. So if I click that, I'll be able now to come to come top on uh, click on top there and add another floor upward like that. So in here, I'll be able to let me just take this to 1.2, but this will be a positive movement upward from the depth below. So I'll just type in here 1.2 right there. So in here, I'll add, I'll define the height from zero level here, from zero level here to be 1.2 right there. So once I've done so, I'm, I'm going to add another floor up there. I'll, I'm going to click insert above and uh, insert above with the same, same height. So what I'm going to do here is very simple. I'm going to click OK. And prior to clicking OK, I have to define also how thick will be our slab. So I'm going to define the slab. And remember, the slab, slab is measured in millimeter here. It's different. You can see the levels varies here. The level is measured in meters here. And also, you can see the type of the height. Is it on top of the foundation or, or on top of the structural slab level? So I'll define this at, at the print level. will be top of the foundation. And in here, we can define at uh, structural slab level. We can give it that structural slab level and give it like that. So in here, we'll define the thickness of the slab as 150. Right there, we'll type 150 right there and also that 150. So at 00, zero level also, the, the, the slab down at the 00, zero level will be 150 millimeter thick. So once you've done so, it's very simple. Just go ahead and click OK. So that will be saved as our reference height of our building. So what we want to do now is just to bring in the DX file that we received from the architects so that we can remodel the same same building that he did and subject it to structural analysis, then uh, uh, submit to, to, to the customer to, to, to review if the reports are okay for, for his proposed uh, building. So I'll come here to bring in the DX file that we received. So I'll come to model here and click on this drop down arrow and click on that and come to import DX file. So the moment I click on import DX file, I'll be able to uh, track down my file to the folder where it was saved. I'll click on that, then uh, I'll just track it down like that and maybe try to get it somewhere there. And I have it here. If I click on that, I'll be able to click open. So the moment I click on open, Remember, I, I have the, the plan. We, have, we received the plan from the architect. So the plan here has the, the whole plan with the, with the, with the, of, with the profiles of the, of the wall and the grid. So first of all, we have to import the grid separate and import the walls separately. So I have to check select all. I have to uncheck the select all, then click on the grid grid line. So the moment I click on the grid line, you can see we have the grids by far. You can see the uh, the grids at at far end here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click next. Remember, mo modify DX, DFX, DXF unit is in millimeter, and the scale is one to one, and XYZ are retained at zero zero coordinate. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click next. So the moment I click next, I'm asked, do I need, do, do I want all the grids merged together? I want that by layer. Let me just check on the by layer and I'll check all the levels. So once I've checked all the levels that I defined, you can see the far end height we, we, we had to go was 9.6 as we showed on the construction level. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click finish. So if I click finish, we will have our grid line in place. But if we take a closer look, it is it has been clogged. 
it's it, it looks busy with so many numbers so so many numbers so what we want to do is just to get rid of these numbers so that we have a cleaner grid line so how do you do that we'll come to uh we'll come to under properties here uh, here and click that plus sign then come here under grid line names visible let me just uh, click here and drag it slightly aside so that it, it reveals all the information be on uh, i mean on, on my left so let me just uncheck uh, grid line name visible so i'll uncheck that so if i come here and click it once again let me just click on any grid line there and come back and click on grid name i'll be able to select let me check that check that then come to show name i'll click there and click on that drop down arrow and click none so if i click none i'll be able to do away with all the the, the numbers that are, are unnecessary so that's step one now we want to bring in the walls we have brought in the grid lines only so let's bring in the walls i'll come back to model then click on that drop down arrow and pick on import dxf file I'll pick now that I'll click open. So then once I click on open, I'll now be able to uh, disable and check or uncheck the grid line, then uh, retain the floor plan, then come here and check the shadow. Then remember the scale remains one to one and the coordinates X, uh, coordinates X, Z, X, Y, I mean, X, Y remains at zero, zero. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click finish. So the moment I click finish, I have I have my plan with the walls. I have my grids with the, with the walls in place. So the next step is placement of beams and columns. And let's do that on the next part. And let's meet then. And bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And let's meet then.